you remember that futuristic show from the early 80s where it had a car that could do a lot of things like drive itself? Well, here today we have an actual replica of that car. And what we're trying to show to you today are some of the futuristic functions that this vehicle actually had. We're actually making a reality with some of our components today. For example, if you take this first function here where it talks about scanning different visual wavelengths, what we can implement with the Bosch technology is our mid-range radar and our video camera. We're able to actually get a surrounding view of the environment of the car. If you take then this micro scanners that was a function from the kit vehicle, what we can do with our ultrasonic sensors and near-range sensors, we can actually help people park their car. We can even do it in a semi-autonomous function because, again, we get a, a, a scanning of the area near the car. And then if you look at the auto cruise, this is one of my favorites. We have a combination of our two different sensor sets, our long-range radar and our mantle camera. What we can actually do is we can actually implement uh, a little bit of automated functions and what we call traffic jam assist. And what that is is at a lower speed of a 35 miles per hour or below, the vehicle actually will drive itself and keep it in the lane and also keep you a safe distance from the car in front of you. And if I continue on down the list, we show you object detection. So back in the day with the, the, the function on the kit vehicle, they called it surveillance mode. Well, in this case, what we're able to do is detect objects around the vehicle, in front of the vehicle, and even in the rearward of the vehicle. And then if you look at some of the uh, other technologies, they have what they call a passive laser restraint system. Well, today we would call that part of our passive safety system. So you would take an airbag controller that actually would control the airbags that save lives in a vehicle, and we have the sensors that are actually in the vehicle that actually sense the crash and deploy the airbag. And then finally, the last one, back in the, uh, in the early 80s in this futuristic view, they had this emergency brake system. Well, we're actually implementing that today as we would call the function automatic emergency braking, again, utilizing our radar sensors and our mono camera. So what we're doing is we're taking these technologies, we're bringing them together, and we're actually implementing a strategy and a stepwise approach where we're gonna lead us to what we call a future vision of injury-free and automated driving.